you guys, this is Kitsy Higgins doing another Facebook Live today. Oh, why not? I have tons of titles, so let's just do them. I don't know if this is a repeat video that I've done in the past. If I did, I apologize. <laughs> but uh, I wanted to talk to you today about if you are having dreams of a deceased loved one. So the first thing is, is that if you're having dreams of a deceased loved one, that's a sign that they have transitioned and they are in heaven. They are setting up that uh, opportunity to communicate with you, which is amazing and beautiful. Um, so many times uh, during readings, at least probably five to ten percent out of the readings I did, people would have dreams of their deceased loved ones. So to that, what I wanted to talk to you about today was if that is the case, to first see what is happening. Every time you are having a visit, um, that is called a visitation. And every time you have a visitation dream from a deceased loved one, I would recommend to step away from it and to see the message in that, uh, in that, in that dream. Uh, so the thing is, though, is uh, what's interesting, too, is sometimes I've talked to people where they say, yeah, I had a dream about my deceased loved one and it just keeps coming and coming and coming and it won't stop. And I've had it for a year or two years, this dream. And um, that is true. Sometimes if you're not picking up the message in the dream, they will continuously show you that same dream over and over until you figure out the message. Deceased loved ones, they are pretty fun like that. <laughs> They're still telling you what to do past the grave. So what I would really recommend is the next time you have a dream about a deceased loved one, go and figure out, piece together the message uh, and to figure out what it is that they're doing, what it is that they're saying. Sometimes it's just touching you and so it's just they want that connection and the feeling. Um, sometimes they might say, I've, um, I'm at peace. Well, if you're seeing that and you're having that dream, that is the message. They are at peace. Yes, you do still have to mourn. But know that they are at peace. So often if people have that dream, they're concerned that, that their deceased loved ones are not at peace. So allow that thought to dissipate and realize that is your answer. And they are at peace. And there's nothing to worry about. And everything is okay. Um, I'm trying to think of other examples of deceased loved ones in dreams and visitations. I don't have one right now. Um, comment down below what is happening and if you have had one before. Um, uh, visitation. Sometimes I've also heard of babies coming. Um, sometimes you might see a baby dream about a year before they, they come in. And that's very normal too, is that a baby who's meant to be born will come in um, at least a year before they're born. So you're being announced that and that energy. So, uh, so yeah, so what I would just really recommend is if you're having a visitation, if you're having a dream, figure out what that message is. Just, just take a step back from that dream and be like, okay, what is happening? What are they doing? Um, if they're, if they were a cook and if they're cooking dinner for you, realize that that's them there, still the same personality still the same characteristics because characteristics and personality does not die that's still there and then after that um that sign that they're there and that that their personality and their characteristics are still there and there's nothing at all to worry about so i leave that with you and i hope you have peace at this time and uh, just know that if you are having a visitation from spirit and from your deceased loved ones, that is beautiful. There's nothing to be concerned about. And uh, that is a beautiful gift from spirit.